this is my entry to Siobhan's Game of Thrones contest. I am going to be making a cake that is going to look like one of Daenerys' dragon eggs. So I've got my cake set up here. Um, I'm not going to talk while I'm baking it because I'm just going to speed it up. But I'm just doing cheater style with a uh, mixed cake. And the cake is going to be baked. I don't have an egg pan, and I wasn't going to buy an egg pan to make one cake. So it's, the cake is actually going to be baked in my football pan, and I'm going to kind of carve it. So here we go. I put the cake in the oven at about 350 degrees for around 45 minutes. Just keep checking back on it to see how it's going. Here you can see the cake baking in my super tiny oven. There's the cake after I took it out of the oven, cooling. There it is looking like a rocket ship. I popped it out of the pan after about 15-20 minutes. Don't let it cool down completely in the pan or you'll have a really tough time getting it out. Hey, so we're going to start coloring the fondant now for the outside of the cake. I am making the green egg, which is described in the book as being uh, rich in color, she thought they were crusted with jewels, um, look like porcelain or delicate enamel. Here we go. Uh, the surface of the shell was covered with tiny scales. One egg was a deep green with burnished bronze flecks. So that's what we're going for. Deep green with burnished bronze flecks. Um, we'll do the bronze later. I'm going to do the green right now. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure this is the dragon that hatches and ends up being Rhaegal, um, for people that have read the books. So here we go, coloring fondant. Um, I've got my plain white fondant. I have a whole bunch of colors here that we're going to use. They're mostly shades of just greens and browns. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of just eyeballing it. I'm actually going to change the camera angle now so you can see a little better the uh, colors blending. Cool. These are the colors I ended up using. I'll link them below. Um, they're Americolor and Wilton brand. After a lot of time, that's what I ended up with. A pretty nice green color. Wrap it up in plastic wrap so it doesn't dry out. Okay, I am going to carve my football into an egg. So I got my favorite cake knife. Here we go. This was the annoying part of the cake. I rolled out the green fondant and using a leaf cookie cutter, I cut out what felt like a million little scales. After they were cut out, I laid them on these plastic formers to kind of dry them, um, not quite flat, a little rounded. I have a lot of these formers, but you could also use anything round. You could even skip this step. Then I gave the cake a quick frost with some yummy chocolate frosting. That will help the scales stick to it later because it doesn't crust over, so the scales will stick right to it. Alright, as you can see, this is me putting on all the scales. I was painting on a mixture of dusts that I had, uh, luster dusts. There was gold, copper, bronze, um, a bunch of different colors. It ended up a little more gold than I'd liked, but I painted each individual scale as I went. Some of them got a lot, some of them got a little. I like the um, uneven look of it. Uh, I don't know. I just like the look of it. You could be really crazy about it and do it evenly, or you could just put all the scales on plain if you liked, and with a bigger brush, like a fluffer makeup brush, uh, like a blush brush, you could uh, put a light layer of the dust over the whole thing like that. It's kind of a toss-up, whatever you want to do. 
This part took way longer than I expected. Um, I thought my camera actually cut out after about 20 minutes and then I kept filming. So yeah, give yourself some time to do this. It's not actually that bad. It didn't feel like that long, but it, it did take a long time. And there's the finished cake. I am really happy with how it turned out. I think it was a good shape. Um, I like the scales. I kind of like how they're not laying flat. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. It was delicious. <laughs>